Gorilla Tag's worst and most racist content creator is back. Not under the same mask he once was, but under a coat of lies. The content creator I'm talking about is Mercy VR. His alternate identity now goes by Pursuit VR. This is the story and the return of Gorilla Tag's most worst and racist content creator. On January 22nd, 2023, Pursuit was struck the day by uploading a video covering the HJVR and Keys controversy. In the video, Pursuit would start by having an awfully similar intro to one of my past videos. He then would begin to tell and mold the story into something entirely different and play HJVR as a victim. When HJVR has been known to dox others, threaten to dox others, send hate and be extremely hateful. Besides the fact of Pursuit manipulating the information being presented and panning an entirely different story. So if I'm correct, everyone thinks that you're this horrible person that you're really not and you're just trying to find a way to get better. The video was later removed. This was due to a lot of heat the video received. During this time in the story, it wasn't very clear if Pursuit was mercy. People had a lot of speculation but nothing was concrete. However, a couple weeks before, an old trusted mod of his had reached out to me and said, There's a chance that Mercy is back because someone I know has proof of him admitting it and the actions that he's taken upon his hands is very similar to those of what Mercy was doing. I don't know if you'll see this, but the channel Pursuit VR may be Mercy VR. I had overlooked the message, but now I was in full attention. Pursuit had been admitting to everyone that he was Mercy, to other content creators and personal friends of his. While content creators along myself were discussing what was happening, Zerdi, one of my good friends, messaged me about how he was in a call with Pursuit. I immediately tried to get Zerdi to get me in a call with him. I just wanted to talk. I didn't intend on making a video on him. I even said, Mercy, I have no reason to stir back up things. I just want to ask you questions. I have no reason to hurt you or upset you. I only just want to talk. I have no reason to quote unquote expose you. You and I both know how I feel about that and what happened. I give you multiple chances to change etc. So just give me the chance to talk to you. After some exchange of conversation through Zerdi to Pursuit, I was finally able to talk to him one on one. Zerdi had added me to the call and so I was ready. After the call, we agreed that he deserved a second chance at redemption and deserved the chance to prove to himself and us that change can happen. So we told him to lay down and pretend to admitting to being very CVR was a public stunt for attention. It worked and people bought it. Pursuit was still in hot waters and had to lay low. He just produced content and live streamed over the next month laying low and gaining a respectable reputation. Over the month he began befriending content creators and engaging in collabs and more. He eventually became friends with CJVR. His past was now gone and he had moved on. I had forgiven him and I have been proud and happy to see that he changed and that he was different. But on the 16th of March, 2023, I was sent a single screenshot message of something Pursuit said with the single caption, Mercy hasn't changed. I saw the message and I instantly knew that I had made the wrong choice. I went later on call with the individual who sent me the screenshot and verified it was real. To the last hope in me that it was fake, I would be proven wrong. It was real. And at the time, other individuals with their own experience with Pursuit rose up and were planning on telling other people, his own close friends. I was invited to a group chat that these individuals were talking in about Pursuit VR. They sent me everything that they had on him, these individuals being somewhat victims themselves. We all agreed that I would make a video and cover everything. In the meantime, we would try to get more evidence and a better story. Since then, there have been many more events that have happened that have fueled me to want to make this video even more. Pursuit has also been known to follow the same old path as his previous identity, Mercy VR. He is casually saying the hard R and endorsing others around him while doing so, while also just being overall racist in general. Pursuit claims in his apology video that he has only said the N-word once. Two of them are fake. You can obviously tell they're, they're edited by the photo, but you know, one of them are true. Besides this being a complete lie, it's also not true. Here are just some screenshots of him being racist in DMs with other people. Pursuit hasn't, however, just been racist in DMs, but has also screen shared himself live typing the n-word and joking about it. No, f you. But 
Pursuit has also been known to change the nickname of people in his Discord server to the hard R on multiple different occasions. His mods also do the same. Pursuit seems to endorse their behavior as they do it publicly, and that they do not have any backlash for it. His moderators also seem to have their own racist remarks, saying the hard R and just being overall toxic and rude to many different people. However, his moderators Smelly and Ryuma have since left Pursuit VR and have provided some behind the scenes evidence against Pursuit. Pursuit has even gone as far as photoshopping himself doing the face trend. If that's not enough for you, Pursuit has made a Discord server where he was archiving all the evidence that proved him innocent in the same exact server. He himself wrote custom channels with the names of certain creators having the name mixed with the hard R. Smelly and Ryoma were some of Pursuit's closest friends, so they heard and saw Pursuit's real side. Smelly and Ryoma have both gone on to testify. Pursuit would say to Hara like every day and every call and every message. Pursuit was also extremely homophobic, anti-LGBT, and he talked down to his fans that made him fan out. He'd say, and I quote this, It's so shit, get this out of my face. When I was friends with Pursuit VR, he'd always say the N word. He also says that he people. He'd say, quote, I People. He was also really toxic and a bad influence on me. He always uses his friends and used me only when it benefited him. He molded me to become racist and toxic to others. He's also done irreparable damage to myself and others. Pursuit has been known to be extremely toxic to many of his own fans, while also being toxic to many different content creator friends of mine. For an example, Pursuit will tell people to end themselves and joke about it. He does this very consistently and seems to think of it as a joke. Yourself. Please, like I didn't ask. Yourself, please. Literally, yourself. What? Yourself. Pursuit what? has also said rude comments, such as "You haven't hit puberty, you fucking loser." This was to one of my good friends, Gus D. B, a very kind individual. Gus has spoken out and it has said, "It doesn't affect me what he said. I'm glad it was me and not someone else who could have taken it in a much different way. But from what I've seen, Pursuit is very malicious and he likes to hurt people for his own fun." Pursuit has also made some questionable remarks about the Gorilla Tag community and the Gorilla Tag Discord specifically. Some might say it could be anti-LGBTQ+. However, I will let you make your decision based upon the clip. No, Jolene, bro, you don't know her? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a trans. I don't fucking know. We're, I don't like the Gorilla Tag Discord anyways. They're, they're, they're all gays and trans. Pursuit claims to love his fans. However, he makes interesting comments that say otherwise. When his mods were abusing their power to change nicknames to the hard R in his own Discord server, he was in the same call laughing. A fan then complained about the mod abuse. But Pursuit then showed his real side by responding, well, maybe you shouldn't join my fucking server. Now, this part is going to be split up into two different sections, as it's a big part of the story and I want to do it real justice. The first section will cover Pursuit's attempt to dox and engage in doxing. The other half will do with his friend doxing many different content creators and hurting real people. Pursuit is good friends with him and endorses his behavior and even cheers him on. Pursuit regularly talks with him. His friend has an online alias, but his friend is also driven by wanting attention. And so for the rest of the video, Pursuit's doxing friend will be given the nickname The Loser, because frankly, that's what he is. Pursuit VR on multiple multiple occasions has spread private information not intended to be spread. An example of this is a picture of what it seems to be Styled Snell's house, a YouTuber in the Gorilla Tag community. It was claimed by Pursuit in his apology video that all he did was react to the message. Kind of what went along with Styled Snell's house being leaked is the virus reacted to my message and I clicked on it. I didn't add it on there. I just re I just reacted to the message and I didn't blatantly say this is Styled Snell's house. However, the emoji was in his Discord and he had posted it in the announcements, so Pursuit publicly published the information knowing what it was. It's been claimed at the time of this writing that it's not his actual house, but the sole intent of doxing was there, making it no good as the intention was clearly malicious. Pursuit also tried to intimidate Cup Cup, a YouTuber in the Gorilla Tag community, by posting an area where he believed Cup Cup lived, and where he was. Whether the accuracy of the information was correct or not, the intention was still malicious. Pursuit claims that he's friends with Cup Cup in his apology video. The thing with Cup Cup, with me DMing him, you know, him, his house i wasn't trying to make him scared or anything we me and cup cup were friends at the time however this is another fabricated lie after seeing such a fake claim being presented this is what cup cup has to say Mr. claims i was friends with him that is the farthest from the truth he also sent me an image near where i live he also asked if i went fishing like he was planning something or trying to seem like he knew where i was while also trying to intimidate me and scare me like he was trying to overpower me 
Pursuit had also posted Fistry's face and his information about his identity. Now, from what is known is that the information was already released. However, it was done to Fistry's own discretion to only his close friends, and Pursuit's friend, the loser, had gathered the information and started to publicize it after getting it through unethical means. Pursuit went as far as making videos and posting images of Fistry's face to thousands of people, like he did with Stout Snell's supposed house. Well, full knowing of what he was doing, Pursuit then claimed in a community post that he didn't want the doxers to dox Fistry. This is a complete lie as he endorsed them and that he even suggested that his friend, the loser, D Fishdu. Now, while claims have been made up against Fishdu for being information about Pursuit Ford, these claims remain vague and unproven. Fishdu has come forward Pursuit to say, Pursuit VR leaked my face when I didn't want him to do so. Pursuit VR also claims against me that I have doxed him. I leaked his face to him. I didn't publish any of his personal information online, nor did I spread it, unlike how he spread my face in his Discord, making videos and posting my face everywhere. I never did that to him. Since Smelly, an old ex-moderator and good friend at Pursuit, came forward against Pursuit, Pursuit has threatened to dox him. You gonna dox Smelly? Yes. He doesn't deserve it. Yes, he does. He literally deserved it. He even later said that he would do something he worse. did Smelly, and he ruined it. So I'm getting payback. By doxing him? I'm not gonna dox him. I'm gonna do something worse. Pursuit may claim that he is innocent and that he doesn't want to dox, but he is not innocent and Pursuit is guilty. Pursuit's friend, The Loser, has doxxed many content creators, such likes as myself, BMT, Fishdu, Cub Cub, I'm Not Canon, MMVR, Pine, DoVR, Beans on VR, and many others. That's only a few. Now, Pursuit endorses his friend, The Loser, to dox these content creators. Pursuit has even gone as far as saying, I want you to fucking d his ass is so annoying. Pursuit has even commented to his friend, The Loser, saying, Biggest W Doxers OML. Pursuit is also in constant contact with his friend, The Loser, and are close friends from the contact that we see between them. The Loser has been involved with raiding Discord servers, sending gore, being racist, impersonating content creators, doxing, threatening people, blackmailing, and much more. Mind you, this is only the surface. The Loser has been around for a while before engaging with Pursuit. Before he engaged with Pursuit, he was harassing MMVR, a girl attack YouTuber. The Loser would make threats of saying that he would SAP People, even mentioning that he would try to kill MMVR. He also doxed MMVR and constantly would harass MMVR. I want to make it clear that Pursuit is friends with the loser and that he endorses his behavior. Pursuit is endorsing the doxing of the content creators, the raids, the blackmailing, the racism, and much more. Pursuit is giving the loser a platform and a community to raid. Pursuit is engaging and encouraging this malicious behavior. I've been friends with Pursuit for a while now. He and I kept it on the down low, but he has done some things that I do not like. Everything being claimed against him is true. However, what makes me do this is that Pursuit VR sent me of an unfed girl on his alt account, joking about it. He also agrees and encourages me to dox others. After this video is put to the public, I will leave Pursuit permanently. Before the screenshot of Pursuit saying the hard R was sent to me, there was a video made on one of the individuals speaking out against Pursuit. This individual being Yuan. The video was made by my good friends Keys VR. However, at the time, Keys had no clue that Pursuit was Mercy. During this time, many content creators thought and believed that Pursuit wasn't Mercy. So when Yuan spoke out against Pursuit being Mercy, he was met with backlash. The video has since been taken down on my request to Keys VR. However, Yuan being one of the individuals trying to help me get more information, tried to mend ties with Pursuit VR. In doing so, the conversation went like this. You want to have a chance at a career? You pull roughly 100 views. If you made a video on me, no one would see it. So listen, we can be friends. I can get Keys VR to take it down. I'm sorry this had to happen. I tried my hardest to tell you, my boy. I can make people like you again. I have so many connections now. K9, Jax, Keys, Cub, Fish Stew, Sens, Clyde, and many more. Pursuit was using his power as a content creator to show superiority over another. He even mentioned that he knew people and had connections to get people to like someone else, while also inferring that he could get them hated, which is just wrong and not right. The next day, Pursuit messaged Yuan about the Keys VR video. I made Keys take down the video because you don't deserve the hate. You're a good guy. Other than this being him trying to show some fake type of empathy, it was also a lie. Pursuit never got Keys VR to take down the video. In fact, he never even messaged Keys to take down the video. 
I was the one who requested and confirmed that it should be taken down. I believed at the time that Pursuit wasn't Mercy. A Pursuit, however, never asked me to take down my UN video. He never even messaged me. Pursuit likes to fake his emotions like he did in my interview with him, and he has absolutely no sympathy for anyone, including his own fans. Even to myself, Pursuit tried to sugarcoat me and bribe me in ways to keep me off his tail, such as gifting me Discord Nitro, making an announcement in his Discord server about me saying that he was thankful and that he changed and that I was a good person, while also claiming to me that he had been donating money to charity. Well, to my surprise, that was bullshit too. If you don't know, live streaming on YouTube can be very lucrative, and especially if it's Gorilla Tag. Pursuit has definitely gained 70% of his subs through live streaming and has made over $4,000 live streaming. The money farm from live streaming can become even more successful if you label it as a charity stream. Pursuit's first charity live stream was the 6th of March, 2023. The live stream thumbnail was labeled as charity. However, the bar for the amount of charity raised said 50% goes to charity. This first makes no sense as when you do charity, the money donated all goes to charity. It would seem like false advertising the stream as a charity stream and having people donate, but taking half of it. He also mentions during the stream to support his membership by be becoming a YouTube member. Also guys, I recommend for buying membership for two reasons. You guys get early access to codes. You guys can have a really cool badge next to your name. I read your guys' messages all the time. Sometimes I turn on members only chat and it's just so amazing. And also supports me. It's only $1 too which makes no sense when you're doing a charity live stream to raise money for other people and not yourself. Nevertheless, he continues to stream. But later throughout the stream, he changes the bar to say, support me, charity, in parentheses. There are endless reasons why this can be seen as wrong and unfair. The title for the stream was labeled as charity, the thumbnail labeled as charity, and even his past live streams, he is quote unquote, support me. But this time he uses the charity label. This is just unfair and outright seems wrong and unjust. Pursuit's next charity live streams would take place the 18th of March to the 19th of March. The money totaling the live streams would be over $1,000. However, $480 of the $1,000 raised was through a third-party app that the donations go directly to the content creator, meaning the content creator would have to donate the money to the charity. Pursuit set up during the middle of the live stream a direct deposit to the make -A Foundation, meaning $608 of the $1,000 donated to the charity through YouTube actually went to charity, but the $480 did not. During these streams, Pursuit said that he would donate the money to charity and that he would post evidence on the Discord of him sending the money to charity. It's been at the time of writing the script five weeks since then and no updates in his discord about him sending the money to charity. His next live stream, he didn't change the text on the donation bar, so the text still read, Charity, make a wish. My good friend Fistu made a comment in the live chat saying, Why does it still say this charity is for make a wish even though it's not for charity? Pursuit then later replied with, Bro, like I said Fistu, this stream isn't for charity. This isn't, this is not a charity stream. Read the title bro. I believe it is also important to note that since then, Pursuit has bought a Valve Index Quest 2, boosted server 30 times and more, while still no sign of him sending money to charity has been given. Pursuit has an awfully similar video style that carries out to all of his videos. All of his videos have a 20 to 30 second outro of roughly the same frame in music. Sometimes the outros are extended to get 8 minutes. If you don't know, YouTube rewards content creators more ad revenue for having an 8 minute video. Pursuit extends his video length out to the 8 minute mark with an outro playing a song till it reaches the 8 minutes. But sometimes he just leaves it black. This means that he is physically extending the video length. However, this is nitpicking, so take this with a grain of salt. Something I wanted to include in this video that I wasn't able to include in my last video was a video of Pursuit uploaded to the Mercy VR channel, Pursuit being Mercy, Mercy, aka Pursuit, going to his own school, bullying and making fun of kids. Oh, well, we were gonna ask you some friendly questions, you know what I'm talking about? I don't care. I wanna be your friend. I'm just here to all ask you some questions. All I want to be is left alone. So, what's, so, um, Ask me all the days. So, uh, will you go on a, doubt, a day with me? What do you want? Are you emo? Yeah. Pursuit when he was Mercy was known to try to create mobs to attack other people, like he did to myself, getting his fan base to attack my channel. Moreover, Pursuit sent an announcement in his Discord pinging everyone to comment on a video made by a content creator against Pursuit to comment a skull emoji. While this may seem harmless, fans and diehard fans take criticizing their creator to a new level, and Pursuit is fully aware of this and knows. He later made an apology after I told him it wasn't okay.
Pursuit in his only up video put three gift cards in the video. However, these gift cards were fake and not real. Now, there is no hard backing evidence to prove this claim besides the testimony of one of my close friends and one of his close mods, Breadloaf. Pursuit mentioned to me that he faked the gift cards in his video because he couldn't spend the time finding real gift cards online. Pursuit is also into stealing videos from other content creators. Over six of Pursuit's shorts are known to be completely stolen and re-uploaded videos from the TikToker Strikes VR. Besides Pursuit stealing videos, he has also deleted his apology video, hiding and running away from taking responsibility. Pursuit does not care. If it is not evident by the mercy cycle, the cycle of Pursuit creating new channels after causing controversy, then it should be soon. Pursuit has commented saying all that he wants is the 100k subs in the plaque. Pursuit has manipulated his own fans, showing fake empathy and compassion. He does not care about you, I, or anyone but himself. Pursuit has sent a community post a while back explaining how he felt. However, the message in the community post was not his, but a copy and paste from another YouTuber named One Giant Onion. Pursuit didn't want to spend time writing his own feelings, instead taking it from another person. Pursuit will most likely make an apology video after this, maybe even crying. That too is him faking his emotions. It's not him, and I can't tell you the countless amount of times he's faked crying. He wants you to believe him, don't let him. All he wants is the plaque, and then he'll leave everyone behind, said by even himself. And the only reason I'm doing YouTube anymore is because I want the plaque button. I want that shit. That's the only reason why I'm doing YouTube right now. It's my only motivation. It's literally the only reason why I'm doing it. Oh, so when you get the flick, you're gonna leave? Yes, that was the fucking plan since the beginning. Even though Pursuit hit 100k and may have gotten what he wanted, we must not let that stop us. So help me and spread this video to girl attack discords, react to this video on YouTube, commentate to this video, share this video, tell your friends, make a community post on YouTube, make an announcement in your discords, go in game and tell people who Pursuit really is. Let's set the precedent for the future of girl attack. Let's make our mark.